Hello everyone and welcome to another very nice game from round 2 of the 2019 FIDE World Cup. Uh, even though it just ended, a lot of you have requested it and for good reasons. Uh, it's uh, number one German Grandmaster Liviu Dieter Nisipeanu versus Hikaru Nakamura. And uh, well, let's just dive straight into it uh, and, and see what happens. Uh, Nisipeanu opens with knight to f3. The ready opening with knight to f6. Uh, d4 and e6 with c4 d5 and now with knight to c3 we of course transpose into the queen's gambit declined uh, bishop to e7 and now g3 preparing to fianchetto the light square bishop uh, nakamura castles and the bishop to g2 uh, d captures on c4 now with knight to e5 uh, and queen to d6 it's uh, important to mention that uh, Nakamura is blitzing out uh, all the moves that uh, uh, Nisipanu throws at him. With castles by Nisipanu and Nakamura goes queen to a6 now, uh, defending the c4 pawn for the moment. Uh, with a4 by Nisipanu and now uh, it's interesting that Nisipanu already had this position last year against Georg Meyer uh, with the black pieces and he played rook to d8 here and Nisipanu lost that game. But here Nakamura goes knight to c6. Uh, so it's a different line. Uh, now comes knight to b5 going after knight to c7 to fork uh, the queen and the rook. Uh, knight captures on e5 first, d captures on e5 and this is where the fun happens. Uh, th this position has been reached before, nothing new here. Uh, you don't want to move the knight as it pretty much just traps your rook on f8 and it's uh, hard to say when your knight will get out. Uh, rook to d8, just uh, going after the queen. And there have been a few games where queen to c2 was played, the bishop to d2 is a known move, but the move Nisipano played here is a new move in the position and it's always interesting that... Uh, it's basically uh, one one of the engine stop recommendations, but it's uh, it has never been played. Nispano plays e captures on f6, uh, a nice queen sacrifice which uh, gives White a lot of compensation for his sacrificed queen, and also a bonus question for those of you who really follow chess and for those of you who have been subscribed to the channel for quite some time now. Uh, which other famous game involves a queen sacrifice featuring the move e captures on f6, uh, or or maybe you know of maybe maybe even two games that feature a queen sacrifice with e captures uh, on f6 uh, that is a bonus question for you we've covered uh, either either one of them or both of them on this channel uh, but okay uh, nakamura of course uh, accepts the queen there's nothing other to do here uh, we have rook captures on d1 rook captures on d1 and now you can't capture the pawn for example if bishop captures then your uh, c7 pawn is hanging just knight captures uh, your queen and rook are uh, trapped you don't want to start giving more material uh, so after rook captures on d1, we have bishop to d6, guarding the c7 pawn, uh, and now comes bishop to f4. Uh, a very nice move by Nisipano, and now it uh, really... Uh, what do you play here? The problem is you can't capture because Nakamura has back rank weaknesses. Rook d8 is checkmate. Uh, so what can you do here? You could go queen a5. It's a really important move that guards the c7 pawn. Even while, uh, once, the, for example, the bishop is captured, you don't want to allow knight captures here. And also a possible move here uh, after bishop to f4 is c3. Also one of the... Uh, one of the suggestions and after pawn captures let's say then you go queen to a5 but queen to a5 uh, very important defensive moves a move in a lot of lines but here nakamura also blitzed out e5 so all of the moves up until this point uh, point were blitzed out by nakamura uh, and it's very interesting because e5 uh, is the move that loses the game uh uh, believe it or not uh, so here what do you play bishop captures uh, on e5 is possible it's a free pawn as the bush uh, you, you still cannot capture due to due to the back rank uh, weakness uh, involving mate uh, but nisipano doesn't go for this nisipano goes for knight captures on d6 first and here nakamura has to capture on f4 that's why it was better to just grab the e5 pawn because after this uh, uh, you give nakamura a chance to uh, somehow uh, well uh, <laughs> repair his position. If he plays e captures on f4, then you continue the game. Knight e8, you go after the g7 pawn, also threatening knight to c7 again. And after queen to a5, finally getting the queen there to defend the pawn, now you go rook to d8. Uh, and now you have to uh, make some room for your king, otherwise, uh, you know, a discovered check will be made. And now this rook comes to d1, and uh, black's position is just disgusting. Uh, so, after this knight captures on d6, with c captures on d6, the move that doesn't work, as now uh, Nisipano goes bishop captures on e5. And now, again, 
you have problems here. You can't capture again uh, due to this mate. The problem is if you play g captures on f6, you get rook captures on d6, attacking the queen on a6, and after b6 defending or moving the queen, just bishop captures here. And now again, you're threatening mate as the bishop covers the g7 square, but also the rook is being threatened uh, as the bishop captures on a8 is a threat now. So white, uh, black is completely busted here. So after bishop captures on e5, we have queen to a5, Finally, the queen finds itself on this uh, useful defensive square, and now rook captures on d6. Uh, again, uh, the queen is now not only guarding c7, but also d8, which is very important to prevent mate. Uh, of course, you cannot capture the bishop, otherwise you're still getting mated. Uh, so here, bishop to g4, Nakamura uh, develops the piece, and now the rook is finally guarding uh, the, uh, the last rank. Uh, bishop to c3 now, you don't want to allow queen captures on e5 now, attacking Nakamura's queen, queen to c7, and now rook 8 to d1. Uh, again, putting pressure on the d8 square. For the moment, it's defended, but, you know, uh, a lot of things can happen. g6 by Nakamura, now uh, not allowing, as the bishop also now guards the g7 square, you don't want to allow f captures on g7. But now, uh, Nisipanu goes after him once again. Bishop captures on b7, just uh, complete annihilation here. Uh, you cannot capture. If you capture, then again, you allow rook to d8 with uh, rook captures on d8 mate. Uh, and after bishop captures on b7, uh, you get rook to f8. Uh, Nakamura now has to get the rook to a safe square. Bishop back to f3. Nakamura trades, captures, captures, and now h5. Finally uh, creating a space for his king. Uh, and now king to g2. We have rook to e8. Uh, just uh, now the, the rook can be activated and h4. Uh, just constricting black even further with queen to c8 by Nakamura uh, and now a5 just improving the position even more there's not much you can do you're never getting rid of this bishop here you don't have a b pawn or a or a d pawn for that matter even if you did it wouldn't really help you all that much you're never getting rid of the f6 pawn you're never getting rid of the double rooks on the d file so if the queen or rook moves just rook d8 will be very strong uh, and black can just hopelessly wait and see what white will do. White, uh, we have ace six. Now the ace six pawn is defended by the queen. Rook d7, uh, grabbing even more squares from Nakamura. We have queen to a8, not allowing uh, rook to a7 to go after the pawn. Or rook to d6 can also go after the pawn. So queen to a8, uh, just uh, defending here. And now comes rook one to d6, grabbing even more space. Uh, again, you can't move uh, the queen or the rook from the back rank. Rook d8 will be deadly. Uh, Nakamura played rook to c8. Uh, and here, even though you can try uh, a lot of ideas, you can go uh, rook b6, uh, followed by rook here to maybe go after the f7 pawn. And then after rook defends, you can go rook a7 to grab the a6 pawn. Uh, but Nisipano goes after the a6 pawn with bishop to d4. Now the threat is rook to a7. And Nakamura doesn't have a move here. It's uh, it's kind of a tsuk swank. Whatever you play just uh, uh, completely loses. For example, uh, if you move the queen, you lose the a6 pawn. You, you don't really have a good square for the rook. Uh, for example, rook b8, uh, rook to a7 traps the queen. Uh, the queen has no squares. Uh, so Nakamura tried uh, c3, but now just b captures on c3, and after rook to e8, uh, Nisipanu just played bishop to b6, and it was in this position on move 30 that Hikaru Nakamura resigned the game, uh, which is just amazing. Uh, number one, uh, 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 a German player, uh, Livio Dietra Nisipanu, uh, completely annihilates Nakamura in, in round two. But okay, they still have to play one more game. Nakamura will get his chance with the white pieces to get back into the FIDE World Cup. Uh, but it's not going to be easy, as now he needs a win. And it's never it's never easy when you absolutely need a win. Here, again, uh, you do have a queen, but you don't have a good move. You, you can just uh, move the rook back and forth. But let's say rook c8, you can even go rook d8 check. And now, for example, if this trade happens, you are now just up a bishop, completely winning. Uh, but you don't even have to try rook d8 because, okay, the king can go to h7, but you can just start, uh, for example, uh, pushing the c4 pawn. Just c4, you're going to go c5, c6, c7. Black can never capture. If you capture, then rook d8 check. Uh, that's, uh, that's just game over. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, a wonderful game by German number one player uh, after bishop to b6. Nakamura resigns the game and we're uh, we're going to see what happens when Nakamura gets the white pieces. Can he get back into the game uh, and perhaps not blitz out uh, so, so many moves uh, in a row? 
but we'll see what happens. Uh, so that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank Oliver Rauprich and Marcel Fernandez for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the FIDE World Cup, checking up on your wonderful suggestions as usual, uh, and so on. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your weekend.